August 15, 1971, American families settled in for their favorite TV show when Richard Nixon interrupted. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold. It was the biggest peacetime power grab in human history. After this moment, America became the banker in a global game of monopoly and could never run out of money ever again. We are truly in this country like an incredibly, I mean incredibly, rich family. Consider what happens when the banker runs out of money. The monopoly rules say when it runs out, the banker can simply cut strips of paper and write down new money. This is how the global financial system worked after this moment. Game money became U.S. dollars and only the U.S. could create it. Today, the U.S. government has over $36 trillion in debt, yet the debt is in money they can create at will, and people are sharply divided on what it means. The $35 trillion in debt, we're going to pay it off. We're no longer on a gold standard, so finding the money to pay for the things we need is never an issue. Both sides of this debate hinge on a paradox. Why would a government that can create money need to borrow it at all? To understand this strange situation, we need to go back, before paper money, before metal money, back to when money was food. <laughs>